In today's video, I'm gonna show you what might be the best screen recording app for 2019. And as you know, if you've been watching my channel for a while, I love to dig into screen recorders. There's a lot of them out there. So let's jump into this one, which is AZ Screen Recorder, and let's find out if it is the best screen recording app for 2019. And when this video is over, go down and leave a comment and let me know what you think about AZ Screen Recorder, or if you think there's something better out there, let me know what that is. You know, I read every single question and comment. When this video is over, I'm gonna go down there to find out what your favorite screen recorder is, or if you agree with me or not. And of course, if you are new to the channel, welcome, thanks for coming by to check out this video. My name is Dee, and I'm here to help mobile content creators and mobile YouTubers. So if that is something that you are into, if that's something you aspire to be, go ahead and hit the subscribe button followed by the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Now let's open up AZ Screen Recorder and find out if this is the best screen recorder for 2019. So opening up Mobi's in, the first thing I'm gonna look at is the settings, which is the blue gear icon right here in the top. I'm gonna to tap on that. As you see right here on the top is the encoder. It's already set for default mode, which is more stable. I'm gonna trust that they know what they're talking about, so I'm gonna leave that as is. Underneath that is the use magic button. When you turn that on, it says single tap on the top right area of the screen to pause or resume, double tap to stop or long touch to draw. I keep this turned off. You can turn it on and experiment with it, see if it works for you. Underneath that, you have stop notifications. Moving on down from there, this is the important stuff. You have video configuration, you have resolution. Now mine's set to 1920 by 1080, but if you tap on it, you can see that it goes all the way up to 2010 by 1080. That's really big but I'm gonna keep mine at 1920 by 1080. And if you find that your phone's a little bit laggy, go into resolution and reduce it down until you no longer have lag. Underneath that is the frame rate. Mine's currently set for 30 frames per second, but for this video, I'm actually gonna reduce it down to 24 frames per second. And if you're a gamer, you want smoother video, so you wanna up yours up to 60 frames per second. Closing that down and moving down to bitrate, you can open that up and set that to whichever one works best for you. I keep mine on 12, you can move it to auto, which it might change around based on your device. Again, if you find that your phone is laggy, this is another area that you wanna experiment with. Moving down from there is orientation. This is gonna change it between landscape or portrait. I keep mine in auto, so whichever way I turn the phone, it's automatically gonna work. If you wanna record a time lapse, this is where you can do it underneath orientation. And here's the audio. This is the part that so many people have been asking about. It says record audio. And then it says internal audio recording is not allowed by Google. However, you can turn it on and it does work in a way. Now, when it comes to recording internal audio with an Android, this is where things kind of get tricky. What's actually happening here is you'll see that Google says it's not allowed to record your audio at this time, but you can still turn it on on most devices. If you don't have an option to turn this on, it means your phone does not support this feature. What's happening here is as the audio is leaving the speaker, it is being recorded by the microphone. This is how the apps get around Google's current block on recording internal audio. However, if you have a Samsung or an LG phone, you need to download MobiZen. MobiZen has a specific version for both Samsung and LG that gives you full audio controls that will bypass all of this. And I'm gonna put a link to a MobiZen video that I made right there. And if you have a Samsung or an LG, make sure you check that video out because that's a screen recorder that you want for your phone. And for everybody else, you can also check out MobiZen or you can check out this app, AZ Screen Recorder. Both of these screen recording apps are fantastic. I've used MobiZen in the past to show all of my tutorials but I'm gonna start using a Z recorder to see how that compares with Mobizen. And maybe in the future, I'll do an AZ recorder versus Mobizen video. So if you wanna see that, make sure to go down and leave a comment below and let me know if that's the video you wanna see. Moving down from there, if you wanna add text or a logo, your own logo on top of your screen recordings, you can do that there. You can show your screen touches, so as you touch around on the screen, it shows a little tap mark. This works really well if you're doing tutorials, but if you're not doing tutorials or you don't wanna show the touch marks, you can turn that off. Underneath that, you can show your camera, and this works great if you wanna do reaction videos or you want your face in the video for some reason. You can simply turn that on and it's gonna activate the camera in the phone. Moving down to the timer, it has a time recording, so you can show the recording duration. It has a countdown before start. I leave this turned on so it gives me a three, two, one countdown before it actually starts the screen recording. Underneath that, you have the countdown value, and that's where you can choose how many seconds the countdown is. 
Underneath that is others. If you want to remove ads, yes, this does come with ads. It is free. I'm not sure what you expect with a free app, but it is free. And if you want to remove the ads, you turn that on. I think it costs around three US dollars. However, I do not use the paid version. I use the free version. The ads don't bother me a bit. Growing on down from there, you have the controller type. This is gonna be the bubble, which you saw when we first started, where all the icons showed up down on the bottom right screen, or a bar. I prefer the bubble because I find the bar is just a little bit awkward. Moving down from there, you have the bubble buttons, select five buttons to display. This lets you choose what you actually wanna show. For example, if you're not interested in live streaming, you can simply come in and toggle that off and it's not gonna show up. Underneath that, you keep notification on exit. Underneath that, you have disable review pop-up. That means that when the recording is finished, you're gonna get a pop-up notification that lets you know that the recording is finished and all of that good stuff. And then of course, at the very bottom, you have the output directory. Now, if you wanna know if I legit think that this is the best screen recorder in 2019, I have to say maybe. I'm still sold on MobiZen, so I'm not sure if this is gonna replace MobiZen or not, but with either one of these, you can't go wrong. So I would say it's definitely one or or the other, Mobizen or AZ Screen Recorder. But as always, I recommend you try them both and see which one works best for your phone and for your needs. If you wanna learn how to make content on your phone or be a mobile YouTuber, be sure to hit that subscribe button followed by the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you so much for watching, I do appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next video.